So, so in the warm up, remember we're going to use the rule that we needed to remember that said log log base a of x equals y if and only if a to the y equals x, right? So I want to go back and forth between the two of those. Um, so um, if it's a logarithm, it's written in logarithm, I want to write it as a exponential. So that means this would, I would take the um, base, the base of my logarithm becomes the base of my exponent. So this would be five. And then these two numbers switch place, five to the third equals 125. And the base of my logarithm becomes the base of my exponent. So this would be 19 to the negative two equals one over 361. And my base six becomes the base of my exponent. So that would be six Third, six to the third power equals 216. So that's our first set. And then the second set, we're going to go backwards. We start with an exponent, and then I want to go to a logarithm. Um, same rule pretty much applies. Um, the base of my exponent becomes the base of my logarithm. So I have log base 4 and then these two switch places, log base four of 16 equals two. Um, and then the base of my exponent becomes the base of my logarithm. So I have log base x of y equals negative four. And then the last one of base 12 here. So log base 12 of y equals x. Okay, any questions so far? Are we okay? All right, and um, for the last part where it says solve and give um, an exact answer, which means no decimals. Okay, great. Um, so I can't really solve this as a logarithm, so I'm gonna rewrite it as an exponential equation. Uh, so this would be x squared equals 36. So what number squared equals 36? Well, x would equal 6. Okay. Um, this one would be x to the fifth power equals 32. So what number to the fifth power equals 32? Well, x would be 2. And the last one says x to the negative 2 equals 1 over 25. So what number to the negative second power equals um, negative 25? Well, for me, I, I just say what number equals, what number squared equals 25? Well, that's 5. So x equals 5. So 5 to the negative 2 equals 1 over 25. Okay, awesome sauce. Okay, now we're gonna go on to our new stuff we're gonna learn today, um, which are the rules for logarithms. And the first one is the product rule for logarithms. So I'll pause for a second so you guys can write that down. Kim just signed in. Bon again. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, so the product rule for logarithms says if I have log base A of M times N, I can rewrite that as log base A of M plus log base A of N. So for me, um, I kind of think it, our basic rule says a log and an exponent are related to each other. So I kind of think of the exponent rules because I know the exponent rules pretty well. And I know that uh, um, there's a rule, there's an exponent rule that says, um, let's come over here. 
it says that if I have a to the n times a to the m, whew, hold on, let me rewrite that. That looks not good. Um, a to the m times a to the n, that's a to the m plus n. I add my exponents together. So this is kind of the same rule as long as my bases are the same, right? A and A. If it's times, if it's times, what, what happens? I add my exponents. It's the same thing. If I have my log and I have a times, what happens to it? It becomes add. I can separate it out into two separate logarithms with an add in there. And that's all it is. We're just going to separate them out. We're going to make them longer because sometimes I can solve one of the logarithms and not the other one, or it makes it easier to solve them if I separate them out. Um, so we're going to do that. And the, uh, this just says, all the directions say is just express an equivalent expression that is the sum of logarithms. It does not say to simplify it. So I'm not simplifying it, which I know that on some of these I can simplify them, but it's not asking me to. It's just asking me to, um, uh, to expand it out. So I'm supposed to make it, um, I'm just supposed to expand it out. So for the first one, because this is times, and the only rule we've learned so far is the, the product rule. That be, it means it's going to become um, addition. So I'm going to have two logarithms, log base 2 of 4 plus log base 2 of 16. Now I can have more than two logarithms if I have more than two things multiplied together. If I have three things multiplied together or four things multiplied together, then that's how many terms or how many different logarithms I'm going to have when I write it out. So if I look at number two, I've got, um, I've got one multiply here, and then I've got 216 here, but 216 times X, that means I'm gonna have three, I have, I'm gonna have three terms when I expand it out because I have three things being multiplied together. So I, hmm. So this would equal um, log, ba log base 6 of 36 plus log base 6 of 216 plus log base 6 of x. Now I already know, like, if they asked me to simplify this, I could simplify the first two um, of those logs and then I'd have log base 6 of x because eh, we don't know what that is yet but it would help me when I'm solving this, when I start solving to start breaking these down, and it does help solve um, when I solve the equations, and we'll get there in a little while, a couple days, maybe next week, I'm not sure. So um, we're gonna get to solving soon though. So I want you to go ahead and do A and B for me, please. Um, these ones. Here we've got a log base 2 of 16 plus log base 2 of s. And b is log base r of a plus log base r of b. Okay, and then um, the next one, I think there's c and d, which Jalen's already started answering. Thank you. Uh, so um, for these two, c and d, I have log base C of R plus log base C of S plus log base C of T. That's what that equals. And then for D, I've got log base T of 3 plus log base T of A plus log base T of B. Okay, and now the next little section, instead of expanding it out, it wants me to condense it down. So it wants me to go from expanding um, into multiple logs to condensing it into a single logarithm. So I know I'm only gonna have one log when I get done. Um, so this would be log base B. I'm only gonna have it one time. So I only have to write the log part of it one time and then the plus means it's going to become, when I go down to one log, it's going to be, 
going to become multiplication. So this would be log base B of 7 times 5. And it didn't say to simplify it, so I'm just going to leave it that way for now. Um, if it said to simplify it, of course, I would simplify it to 35. But um, it didn't say to simplify, so we're just putting it together as one log. So the second one is log base M. And then of um, 3xy, um, because they're all add, add, they're all add. So um, it's all uh, multiplication, 3 times x times y. Okay, so I've got four problems here for you. I don't know why I put them, so doing them 2 and 2, I don't know why I did that. Um, but let's go ahead and have you. So um, here we go. Um, so for the first one, it's log base B, one, one log of five times nine. Okay. And then the second one would be log base C of TY. I do want to just um, say this really quick. Um, if you're going to do times, try not to use the x because x is a variable. So it just looks like there's a there's three terms in there um, if you're using the x. So you could use, um, if you're typing it into the chat box, you could use the um, t, the little star y works well. But don't do t, x, y because that looks like it's um, three, t, three things being multiplied together. I hope that makes sense. Um, we don't... We don't usually try and use the X for multiplication anymore. Um, but if I just have variables, I can just put them together uh, because that means multiplica multiplication if they're just together with nothing in between them. So I can just say TY. Um, so like on uh, C, I am so sorry that I'm saying um a lot today. I don't know what's going on. So on um, C, it would just be log base T of H. M. I don't have to put anything between them because I know if I have two, um, two letters next to each other, it means multiplication. So I don't have to actually put a star or a, t a X for times or anything in between them because I know if they're together, that automatically means multiplication. I hope that helps a little bit um, with the notation so you don't actually have to put the times in there. Um, so the last one would be log base A of 2MNP. So I can write it just like that. Okay. Nice job, you guys. So now we're going to go on to the next rule. The, the um, second rule uh, that we're going to learn today, we're going to learn three of them. And we're, this is the second one. And it says it's the power rule of logarithms. And the power rule of logarithms says if I have log base A of M to the R, that equals R log base A of M which basically says the logarithm of a power of m is the exponent times the logarithm of m. So I kind of have an example um, of why this one works, because this is the easiest one to actually prove. Um, so I kind of like to do that one. Uh, so I can write this out as, um, what does the to the fourth power mean? It means to multiply by itself that many times, right? So I could write this as um, log base A of 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, correct? That's what 3 to the fourth power means. And according to the law or the rule that we just got done writing, uh, or writing, of doing, I could expand this out and write this as log base A of 3 plus log base A of 3 plus log base a of 3 plus log base a of 3, right? That's that's um, the, the product rule that we just got done writing. And then what is multiplication? What is the definition of multiplication? Well, it's repeated addition, right? That is what multiplication is. Multiplication is repeated addition. Well, I'm, re I'm adding the same thing multiple times. So instead of writing this out that many times, I could actually just write this as four times log base A of 
three. And that's where this rule comes in. So what happened is this, let's see, this exponent right here just got moved from the top down to the front. And I've got four log base A of three, and this is why, and it works like this every single time. So that exponent just goes to the front of the logarithm. Is there any questions on that? Okay, so let's look at um, some examples. Again, we're just working on the rule. We're not simplifying or anything. We're just doing what the rule says to do. So um, I'm going to take my exponent here, and my exponent goes to the front. So this becomes negative 5 log base A of 9. Okay. So the second one, um, the second one right now does not have an exponent, but I can write it as an exponent. And I know that we've talked about this before, and I'm, we'll probably talk about it again, especially with exponents. But remember, there's an um, exponent rule that says, where do I want to write this at? I'm going to write it up here. That says, um, if I have the nth root of a to the m power, I can write that as an exponent as a to the m over n. Okay, where this is my power and this is my root. So if I have the, um, I'm just going to bring it up here. If I have the uh, seventh root of x, and that would be x to the first power because there's no exponent with it, I can rewrite this as x to the one seventh. So this becomes log base seven of x to the 1 7th. Now I have an exponent and I can take my exponent and I can move it and I can move it from there down front. So that means this equals 1 7th log base 7 of x. Is there any questions about that? Okay, so we've got three problems, um, at least right now, for you guys. Okay, so um, I'm going to take my exponent here, and then it gets moved from here down to the front, right? So I've got 8 log base A of R. And then I take my exponent, which is 5, and it gets moved. So I've got um, 5 log base B of T. And then, again, same thing. I have my exponent, and it becomes 1 third log base 2 of Y. And I just want to say that there's another way that they write this one just in case you see it. Um, it can also be written as log base 2 of y divided by 3. So you'll see it either way. Um, just know if you see something divided by a number that that's going to be an ex uh, fractional exponent or some sort of root, which is a fractional exponent. Okay, So this one you'll see written either way. Um, depending on um, how they've decided to write it. So um, next page, let's see. Oh yeah, there's uh, three more problems for you guys to do. So same thing as what we've been doing. Um, here's my exponent, it goes into the front. So I get one half log base 10 of y. Um, my exponent goes in front, so I get n, um, equals negative 3 log base b of c, and my exponent goes in front, so I'm going to get negative 5 
log base C of M. Okay? Is there any questions on that? Is everyone okay? I know the people that have been answering have been doing great, so how about the people that aren't answering? Please make sure you're answering questions if, if um, you're not putting answers into the chat box, please. Okay, so the last law that we're going to, or rule that we're going to learn today is the quotient rule for logarithms. Um, and again, I kind of think about this when I'm doing, um, think about the uh, exponent rules. Um, and the exponent rule that would go along with this one would be a to the m over a to the n equals a to the m minus n. So if I have so sorry, if I have a division problem, it becomes minus. And that's the same with logarithms. So if I have log, if I have log base A of M over N, that equals log base A of M minus log base A of N. And this is the only one where you have to be careful. So like with the product rule, it doesn't matter what order I add or multiply in, but it does when I'm dividing. It does matter what order I divide in. It does matter what order I subtract in. So it's always minus the bottom. So minus the bottom. Um, that's what's being minus, okay? And the, the top, and the, they, you know, the logarithm of a quotient is the logarithm of the dividend, the top, minus the logarithm of the divisor, the bottom, okay? So um, I'm gonna write it as multiple logarithms. So again, this becomes log base t of six minus log log base t of u. That's it, done. And for the second one, um, log base r of x minus log base r of y. Okay, that's all. So I'm gonna have you do the three problems here. So. So, um, so I've got log base 3 of 29 minus log base 3 of 13. For the B, I will have log base B of M minus log base B of N. And for C, I would have log base A of Y minus log base A of X. Okay, so for the, for the next part, they want us just to put them back together. So um, we're going from multiple logs, well, two logs basically, back into a single log. So I will have, let's see, log base b is my first one and then i have 17 divided by 27. remember the first one always goes on top and the second one always will go in the the bottom of my fraction or the numerator so then number two would be um log base c of j over h that's it Okay, so that's just condensing them back down into one logarithm. So um, let's go ahead and do. So we've got, let's see, what do we have? Log base A of 26 over 2. Um, log base A of X over Y. And log base B of C over D. Okay, questions? All right, let me see what's on the next page here. All right, um, sorry, I'm just, we're just gonna go ahead and keep going because we're, we're going really good on time. So um, we'll probably get this done, the whole lesson done in the next little 10 minutes or so. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, so the first one, uh, they want me to expand it out. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna expand it out and we're gonna use all three rules right now. So um, 
or there for a combination of them. We don't have to use all three of them, but we'll be using um, multiple rolls on each one of these. So um, I know that I have an exponent that's gonna go down in front. And then I also have a division here and a multiplication. So I'm gonna be using several rolls. Um, so I know that the three is gonna go down in front of just the X term. So I have three log base B of X. And then I have a division bar. Um, so that takes care of my numerator. That's everything that's in the top, right? And so then I'm gonna go, then I'm gonna go down to the denominator, which means I have a subtract sign. And then because I have two things going on in the denominator, I'm gonna put it in a parenthesis. Um, so I have log base B of Y plus log base B of Z. And then I do kind of want to make it a little nicer than that. I don't really want a parenthesis in there. I'm going to distribute my parenthesis through and I'm going to get my final answer to be log three log base B of X minus log base B of Y minus log base B of Z. And that's it. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do the next one. We have to change it up a little bit because I can't do anything with that root sign. So I have to change the root sign. Um, so I'm gonna change this to log base A of, um, I know that that will be, so I'm gonna like rewrite this a couple times, I guess. So the, this time would be x, y, z to the third, all to the one fourth. Because um, if I put it all in parentheses, everything that's inside that would be to the first power. And then over four, right? And then in order to be able to do this, um, well, let's see. No, let's go from here. Let's do it from here. Um, so then I'm going to put this, uh, um, my exponent goes in front. And since it's inside of a parenthesis, um, when I put it in the front here, one fourth, I'm going to have a parenthesis because it's going to be one fourth of everything that's inside of here. Um, so I have log base A of X plus, I think that's a Y, log base A of Y, and then minus what's in my denominator, which is z to the three, right? Three log base a of z. And then of course, to make it simpler, I'm gonna distribute that one fourth through everything. So I don't have a parenthesis. Um, so I would get one fourth log, of, log base a of x plus one fourth log base A of Y minus three times one fourth, which would be three fourths log base A of Z. Okay, kind of ugly. I know, I'm sorry, um, but not as bad as it could be, just so you know. So let's go ahead and see Let's just start with A and B first. So, um, so I know that I have two exponents here that I'm gonna have to move into the front. So I've got two log base A of W plus negative two log base A of X plus, um, log base A of Y. So now I do have an issue with uh, the notation here a little bit because I can't have two signs right next to each other. So right in here, um, here, right here, it's kind of ugly, needs to be fixed. So I would rewrite this as two log base A of W minus two log base A of X plus log base A of Y. So that would be the final answer. Okay. So on the second problem, it's very, very similar. I've got two exponents again. Um, 
and I would do this, let's see, um, log base A of X plus 2 log base A of Y plus negative 3 log base A of Z. Again, I have this really ugly little plus minus here, right here. So we would fix that, and I would get um, log base A of X plus 2 log base A of Y minus 3 log base A of Z. Questions? Okay, so a little harder now for you guys. We're gonna make it a little bit harder. We'll see how you guys are doing with this one. Ready? Okay, so most of you have got them mostly right. I think, Kim, um, you got them all right um, in the chat box. So let's talk about, let's talk about this, okay? So there's just a few things that, um, few things that we need to talk about. So if I do this, I've got my exponents, right? Um, which you guys did good with that part. So I have log base B, oh, two log base B of W plus log base B of X minus, and there's more than one thing happening on the bottom, so I need to use a parenthesis, minus three log base B of Y plus um, log base B of Z, and then that negative gets distributed through, so I've got 2 log base B of W plus log base B of X minus 3 log base B of Y minus log base B of Z. Okay, so I think uh, uh, some of you just forgot that second minus and you did it as a plus. Um, so it's still a minus. It's still a times, but the minus just means it's in the denominator and not in the numerator. If you would, when you put plus log base B of Z, that plus means that it's in the, uh, the numerator, not the denominator. Okay, so on the, this last one here, I'm going to rewrite this as, um, let's see, uh, log base A of X to the seventh over Y to the fifth, Z to the eighth, all to the one half. Whew, okay, one half. So I'm gonna come down here because I'm running out of room. I don't wanna squish it in here. So I'm gonna come down here. Hope you guys are okay with that. Um, so I've got one half times, um, 7 log base A of X minus, and we have another parenthesis, 5 log base A of Y plus 8 log base A of Z, parenthesis, parenthesis. So I'm going to distribute my um, negative through first. So I've got one half times seven log base A of X minus five log base A of Y minus eight log base A of Z. And then distribute one half through. So seven, oh, seven halves log base A of X minus five halves log base A of Y minus four log base A of Z. There we go. Okay, questions? Anything on that one? We're doing okay? Awesome. Okay, um, and then, then the last thing we're gonna do is condense them back down um, to one log. Um, so I'm going to kind of pay attention again to what, um, what my exponents are. So I know I have an exponent here and I have an exponent here and then I have a minus here. I want to also pay attention to my signs and I have a plus here. Okay. So, um, I have one log, 
So this is going to become equal to log base A of X to the one half divided by Y to the seventh times Z. So all over Z because that's in the numerator because it's plus, not a minus. So there should be what my log base A, that looks like a nine, A is. Yeesh. Okay, so on the second one, let's see what we've got here. I've got, oh, and it does say, I just want to say, it does say simplify it. So I do need to simplify it if I can. Um, and that's as simplified as that one gets. So I've got a three here and a four here. So on this one, I'm going to get log base A of B to the third times the square root of bx to the fourth. Well, I can simplify that. So that's log base a of b to the third times bx squared. Yes, bx squared. Okay, which means, I'm going to run out of room, log base A of B to the third times B squared X squared, which is going to give me log base A of B to the fifth. Yep, three plus two is five X squared. Okay, that was ugly. Okay, I want you guys to try now. So let's see if I can get all four of them up there. We'll just do all four of them at one time. Some of these, um, because some of them are a little tricky. And I'll just tell you on your homework, you don't really have, um, in the Delta math, there's not really anything kind of tricky at all. It's just pretty straightforward. So um, this is going to be equal to... Um, Log base R of M squared times N to the one half, which um, I don't know if they're going to make you write it this way in um, Delta math, but you might need to be aware of the fact that you might need to write this as log base R of M squared square root of N. So um, if there's any like that in Delta math, you might want to just check the show examples until you see one with a fractional exponent if they give you one and see how they want it answered. Do they want it answered with the fractional exponent or do they want it answered as a square root? So you might want to check that out if they give you one like that um, because I'm not sure how they want that answered. And then part B, um, I'm going to get, this is one where I will have to simplify by the way. So I have log base A of X to the one half. Um, oh, sorry about that. That should have been Y y to the fifth divided by x squared. Now it's not simplified because I have two x's in there, so I do have to simplify that. So that would be log base a. Um, the rule for exponents is that I subtract the two. Um, I subtract the two uh, exponents that have the same base, so these two get subtracted. And then, so I'm going to get y to the fifth over x to the three halves. And again, if they want that as a, as, a, um, as a square root, that would be log base a of y to the fifth over the square root of x cubed. Um, so that may be how they want that answered. Um, and then let's look at this one. So this 3 gets distributed here and there. So I get, let's see, what do I get? Log base A of 2x times x to the third divided by y to the third. So I can simplify that, right? So I get log base A of 2x to the fourth divided by y cubed. Okay, and then the last one, 
Um, let's see, what do we get on the last one? What do we have here? Log base A of 2x plus 10 divided by x squared minus 25. Um, but I think I might be able to factor those, so let's check. Log base A of 2 times x plus 5 all over x minus 5, x plus 5. So those go away, and I get left with log base A of 2 over x minus 5. That was ugly. Okay, and that's it. And I'm fairly certain that you don't have any condensing as hard as these ones on your, um, on your delta math. So I just wanted to throw that out there. I'm pretty sure that you're not going to have anything that bad on your delta math. Okay, so... Um,